What's going on guys? My name is Christopher and welcome to It's Complicated, the show where I talk about and showcase wristwatches. So if you love wristwatches like I do, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button, then click on the little bell next to that and you'll be all set. Today I'm going to be showcasing a Star King watch and I have plenty of things to say about it. Here we go. So before I get on with the showcase, let me explain that this is yet another Star King watch that was sent to me for the channel. I gotta be honest with you guys here, the lady sending me this watch is absolutely relentless with this piece. She wanted this reviewed like days after I received it. And to be honest, that was about a month ago. Weird as it sounds, I often have a schedule for this channel and I'm finally getting around to this now. And I have a lot of interesting things to talk about with this piece, so hang in there. This watch is priced at $52.99 with free shipping, and right now it looks like there's a coupon on Amazon, so you could grab it for a little under 50 bucks. It's a 40 millimeter case, so great size for the watch. Movement on this watch is an in-house Starking movement. It has a display back, so you can see the movement going in there. Not much decoration on the movement, but hey, it's still kind of cool to see it moving along if you're into that. Complications, this watch does have a date feature at the three o'clock position. Now, let me break out the time grapher machine and we'll have a look at this watch's timekeeping. Now, as you guys can see here on the timekeeping, this thing is pretty much all over the place. It's definitely running fast at about plus 16 seconds a day. Something I will say here in the showcase is that the movement on this piece is actually pretty bad. If I shake this watch, the movement will completely stop only to start again after a little bit. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. It's also missing several beats here and there. Um, running kind of smooth now on the time grapher machine here, but sometimes it is just all over the place. You can see right here, if I wiggle this watch, I mean, look at how many beat errors there are there. It's just out of control. Even moving it slightly, you get a lot of errors. Now, let me show you what I was talking about, that when I shake it, it can stop. And there you go. You can see that there, it completely stopped, then it kind of went again. So it does run, and it runs pretty poorly but it hasn't quit running this is the third star king watch i've showcased on the show and this one is definitely the worst one movement wise the other two i never had this much trouble sometimes you can see those beat errors happen when this thing is running if you keep your eye on the second hand And there it was stopped again and look it's just it's just struggling now water resistance this thing is water resistant to 150 feet the case is made out of stainless steel the bezel here is polished the crystal is sapphire so it does get a little credit there i mean getting an automatic watch with a sapphire crystal for under 50 bucks is pretty good but then again if it doesn't run well then it's not that good is it the crown is stainless steel and features that Star King symbol. It does not have any crown guards. The case back is a display back, as we talked about before. No loom to talk about on this watch. The bracelet is probably one of the best things about this piece, and that's not saying anything good, is it? It's got solid steel links, and it has push-out, push-in pins. The clasp is a dual-folding clasp, which is nice, and I never had any issues with it coming undone while wearing it. And there's the watch on my wrist, and it certainly doesn't look too bad. And that pretty much wraps up the showcase. I gotta say, this is a pretty junky wristwatch. I understand that it is under $50, but really, why buy a piece of junk for under $50 when you can spend a little more and even get something like an Invicta, at least that is going to keep somewhat decent time, not have so many beat errors, certainly won't stop when you shake it etc. You could spend a little more than that. You could spend about 300 bucks and get one of the brand new Seiko 5s that just came out. I'm sure those watches keep much better time, although I haven't checked them out yet. But there are many, many other options than this particular Starking watch. And I did reach out to the provider of this watch and explain to her what was wrong with the watch and she suggested that I don't mention it. So that's pretty shady right there. 
But hey, if you absolutely have to have a mechanical watch for under 50 bucks, you can give this a shot. If it is running as poorly as this one is, you could easily send it back to Amazon. And that wraps up another episode of It's Complicated. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, like this video, share it with all your friends, and I'll see you next time on another episode of It's Complicated.